Hi guys, welcome to a new video here at the workshop. My name is Ipmali. There are several ways to reset the password for a local account, and today we will look at one of them. This is a pretty easy way, and it will work on Windows 11, Windows 10 and Windows 8, and if you have any questions along the way, you can write to me in the comments below and I will try to help you. This is actually a big problem when you cannot open your computer. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you haven't created a dedicated password reset flash drive. Don't worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, in order to reset the password we need to open a command prompt. And first I will show you three methods to open the command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key. And then click, here. And restart your computer. The automatic system restore program opens. Click, troubleshoot. Then, advanced options. Now click, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on your operating system configuration, the program may ask you for your password before opening a command prompt. In this case, I suggest opening the command prompt in another way. For those who have found the first method to work, you can skip the second and third methods, and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows install menu opens, but we won't install anything, we'll just press Shift and F10, at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Depending on the operating system configuration, sometimes Shift plus F10 does not open a command prompt, then you can use another method. Method number 3 The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number 3. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD, and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Click, Next. In the menu we will click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. Now write in the command prompt, re-get it, and press, enter. The registry editor opens. Here you need to click once, key local machine. Click, file. And click, load hive. Here we need to find the drive where the Windows operating system is installed. On my computer, this drive is marked with the letter C, on your computer or laptop, the drive with Windows installed may be marked with a completely different letter, it may be the letter D or another letter. We also see here a bootable USB flash drive, with which we open the command prompt, and another small Windows partition, or rather its small directory for system files. My computer does not have a separate disk or partition for storing data, and therefore I have the largest disk here, this is the disk with the Windows operating system and I open it. In this window, open the Windows folder. Next, locate and open the folder, System32. In this window, open the folder, Config. 
Here find the file, system, and double click on it. In this window, you need to specify a name for the created folder. I will name this folder, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can name this folder by any other name, the name of this folder has no meaning for the process. Press, OK. Open the folder, key local machine. So, we have created a folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, and now we open it. Locate the folder, set up, and click on it. Now find the file on the right, CMD line, and double click on it. In the window that opens, write, CMD EXE. And click, OK. Now find the file, set up to pay, and double click on it. In this window, instead of zero, enter the number two. Click, OK. Then find the folder, one, two, three, four, and click on it once. Then click, file, and click, unload hive. Click, yes, and close this folder. Close command prompt, and click, continue loading windows. If you use the second method, close command prompt, close the installation menu, click, yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command prompt was opened. Here we will write, net, click, spacebar, user, click, enter. Now we see our account name, my name, Ip Malik. Here we write, net, press spacebar, user, click the spacebar, your account name, I write, Ip Malik. Press spacebar, put a sign, an asterisk, for this press on the keyboard. Shift and number 8, at the same time, and click, enter. We do not write the password, we have deleted the password, and instead of the password, we have an empty space. Click, enter. Then you need to press again, enter. As a result, the command was successfully completed, now we do not have a password, and the command prompt can be closed. If your name is made up of several separate words, this could be a problem. In this case, try this, try putting your name between the two hooks, for example, James Bond. In this line write, net, press space bar, user, press space bar, James Bond, press space bar, put an asterisk. Try to enter your name without the space bar in one word, for example, James Bond. Try these different options. We close the command prompt, and to do this, write, exit. We click, enter, and we started to reboot the computer. Click, here. And now we do not enter a password, and we entered our system without any problems. If you have forgotten your password and it is very important for you to unlock your computer, repeat all these steps and you can also reset your password. And so, we remove the password and now our PC is left unprotected, and any unauthorized person can use our personal data. Now I will set a new password on my computer, and if you need to do that too, follow me step by step and you will protect your computer or laptop if you set a new password. Press the button, start, then, settings. In this window, press, accounts. Sign in options. Click, password. And here click, add. A window has opened, and here you need to enter a new password. Confirm new password. Here you need to enter a password hint. Next. Now my computer is under protection and I hope that what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck!